So let's see, two of swords, mental conflict and the chariot. Either there is a cancer in your life or this is you. Uh, wondering if you should walk away, uh, break free. Have finally some triumph um, for yourself, some success. And oh my god, are you kidding me? Double mental conflict. I mean, that's a lot of thinking right here, Capricorn. That's a lot of thinking right here. It's the energy of una being un unable to make a decision, but boy, we think till we have one decision, right? Uh, oh, now we know why we think a lot. It's because we want victory and success. Six of Wands. The situation might involve a lot of pride, a lot of ego. I mean, that is no way we can lose. We only have to be victorious. I mean, victory is the, um, the only outcome possible. And accept it. Two of Swords, Four of Swords. Rest and rejuvenate that mind of yours. Right? Two of Swords with the Four of Swords. One is the energy of stressing. The other one is the energy of quieting the mind and going to the flow. And we do have the High Priestess. Two of Swords, High Priestess. Pisces Cancer energy, but mainly it's about staying quiet, staying put in action as the best course of action, spirituality. Staying between the dark and the light where the flow of information is, right? So bottom of the deck overall energy at this time. We do have the Emperor, maybe an Aries in your life actually. And they show up here as the overall energy. Uh, they were not paying attention and now they want to compromise. And for some of you, it's the uh, just balance between authority and um, compromise. Between going uh, full of force towards something and the uh, balanced approach, right? For some of you, to major arcana. Let's find balance between, right? A, a little bit of force when it's the time. A force, right? It's more determination than anything else. And for um, and being patient when it's the time, right? Now let's see, Capricorn. Past energies on your side. We'll see. Um, the person you are dealing with in, in mutual. We'll see how this ties up. Because for now, it's just two completely different energies. The uh, the temperance is. Um, the quiet strength, right? And uh, the emperor is the in-your-face kind of strength. So I don't know if you feel like this, but definitely the overall energy is one of that nature. So current energy is between you and your person at this time. So let's have the possible outcome. On your side, the person you are dealing with and mutual. But of the deck, the empress, are you kidding me? The Emperor and the Empress and the Four of Cups and the Four of Cups and the Temperance. Well, now we have more clarity, don't we? Now it's all about a very powerful connection, the Emperor and the Empress and the Four of Cups. Two bored people in a connection here. And the Universe is sending the Temperance. Can you please compromise? Can you please work on it? Can you please be patient with each other, right? Sagittarius energy, but I feel this might be a married couple, maybe one is Aries, one is Sagittarius, one is Libra, Taurus, Aries, Sagittarius, you know, these are, I mean, the, the, the most powerful um, zodiac signs here. And we are so not paying attention to each other lately, what's going on? Um, so Capricorn, in the past, we have that Aries again, or the Emperor and um, the Hermit, Virgo energy authority and solitude and um you know how it feels and it's so in line with the overall energy i kind of feel that you came from a place of authority um in this connection uh, a place of control uh it's a very powerful strong quite determined quite forceful kind of energy and i'm not sure they loved it Okay, I don't know if you are a feminine, if you are a masculine energy. I don't know which one is the movie. Both have, we all have both, right? Um, but it feels like I don't know if you felt in the past that you had to take control over this situation. But that's a lot of um, power energy, right? But it's interesting because it's some some type of power that led to kind of solitude, right? Um, the hermit, 
led to silence, led to wisdom, led to lessons, right? And um, I don't know, you know, at some point, if we've been uh, jealous, right? We were too much paying attention and then we stopped. Whatever that was, I mean, to me, you know, we have kind of repeat energies, right? With the overall energy. So we are still in that flow um, of control, of authority, of uh, paying too much attention, gathering data and having this forceful approach w um, with this person. Um, but we had our lesson in the past, right? So Capricorn, this person of yours, they have the hangman and your energy, the devil, right? Temptation, sacrifice. Interesting, powerful reading so far. Uh, to me, Jarkina, again, fundamental changes between you and this person. Um, yeah, your energy was um, all over them. But I believe at, at a certain uh, moment in time, they needed the hangman position, right? The hangman the hanging man kind of energy where um, they needed to stop and look the things differently right reevaluate reassess understand something about you and maybe for some of you they um, had to sacrifice this connection with you because something was um, uh, maybe too powerful and it might have uh, become toxic um, because we also have the devil and the devil it's not only Capricorn energy, right? We know it's something of a bond that became too much. It can be jealousy, it can be fear, um, can be codependency, can be anxiety, kind of ruining, you know, um, the whole connection. And, and we all love a sense of freedom and freedom doesn't, need, uh, doesn't mean cheating on, on, on uh, a partner or it's just, uh, it just means allowing the other person to be themselves, right? And I kind of feel that this person, um, you know, needed some time uh, for themselves. Now, mutual energies between the two of you, the judgment and the two of cups, right? Yeah, a lot of judgments, a lot of truth about this love, but nonetheless, that was love. For some of you, somebody need, needed to make a fundamental final decision about this love uh, to tell the truth, maybe a painful one. Uh, maybe one that suspended this connection for a while in the past, right? But nonetheless, two of cups, right? You had feelings for them, they had feelings for you. Um, and probably that was also a renewal of some sort. Um, but I feel with the solitude, temptation and truth that at some point. And such powerful major arcana, right? So powerful of enlightenment, of understanding um, the whole unhealthy patterns of some sort right and then wisdom from what happened oh, it was quite a ride i'm pretty sure i, I can feel you know the tension and the, the the powerful exposure of what was going on between the two of you so capricorn where are we right now we do have the moon pisces energy and we have the two of ones at crossroads and a little bit afraid a little bit lost a little bit in the dark and not knowing what the future holds, but we have the possible outcome. So maybe I can bring an answer too. Uh, it will not apply to everybody, we'll see, but uh, I'm pretty sure there is something there for you coming. Um, and the moon, right? Depth, emotions, um, you know, um, anxiety that we might lose them. Um, kind of a low vibe because of waiting. But nonetheless, right? We have options. Crossroads means means choosing a path. I don't feel you are ready just yet. The universe is asking you to be patient and compromise with this person when it comes to this connection. Empress and Emperor, um, actually a very um, soulmate, um, twin flame connection, but also speaks of the position of power, dynamics of power that we uh, moved into when it came to this connection and maybe that's what was toxic and that that is what actually needed to to be put on hold so we can um freely decide to move on together right or apart now this person of yours they do have the nine of cups and the star card um aquarius energy you know what they are very hopeful um they are very hopeful somebody here knows exactly what they want he or she fulfillment of wishes they they want to be happy they want to be healed they want to be hopeful 
this is a very light energy right they started by being uh, hanging um, you know hanging uh, on a tree here and now they have um, you know they have hope um, it's a positive energy it's a positive vibe they might be also focusing on that type of they kind of need in order to heal their spirit right that is the star alignment um, healing their spirit it has the energy of um, wish fulfillment and, and divine guidance. So they took a spiritual path at this time. Mutual energies between the two of you at this point. Again, crossroads and rejection. This is what's going on. I am pretty sure. Four of Cups, we are not paying attention. Invaded by emotions. And... Um, and while you are still attached to this, I feel that this person, I can't say they moved on, but they are so focused on, on being happy and easy. Um, and have a, a more um, easy flow of energies, fluid energies, if I can um, say it like this. Now moving forward, uh, coming your way, the outcome of this all, we do have the Two of Pentacles right and the universe absolutely happy endings movement choices and decisions and the world absolutely happy endings might look a little bit challenging because two of pentacles requires a lot of effort but coming your way is the energy of effort to have happy endings together and this person again they are so focused on wish fulfillment they have the uh, um the will of fortune and the nine of cups so I kind of feel Capricorn, whatever happened between this person is actually maybe something that they wanted. Um, the destiny kind of throw, uh, threw some um, curveballs, right, in your way and um, in their way, sorry. But at the end of the day, this is, this is Nine of Cups, this is wish fulfillment, this is hope, this is future, this is alignment. They are in a good spot, I would say. And mutual energy is coming your way. We do have the Six of Swords and the High Priestess, right? Moving on and following your intuition. Actually, both of you, you are following your intuition. This is also the energy coming your way, which is one of spirituality of detachment. is one of um, information and knowledge, right? By moving on from this connection. Um, I know... It's interesting, the Emperor with the Four of Cups, right? He or she was not paying attention. You show up as the Emperor or the Empress with the Four of Cups. We are no longer emotionally in this, right? And you, I know you stay attached. I know you are afraid of this ending, but I believe this person of yours, they actually move into wish fulfillment. You know, moving away, being separated from you actually gave them the... It's kind of like the world of a world of what they desire or finally awaken to what they desire um and i feel capricorn they they because it shows up your energy in the past shows up with the energy of the hangman kind of like the universe saying they felt that they sacrificed a lot either to be with you either to continue to be with you for the love that you shared for the truth that was shared for their uh, fundamental truth your fundamental truth somebody felt like sacrificing and it's like now that you are away from each other with the five of pentacles and the crossroads somebody is simply chasing their wish fulfillment it's like i will not settle for less that's the energy how it feels you know on your side, I feel that we are um, indecisive. We have you a little bit emotional, struggling with this ending um, in October. But on their side, um, it's what they always wanted, right? And I kind of understand why the universe is asking you. Let's be patient about it. You know, let's come from a place of compromise. This is over, but it doesn't have to end in a like in a big, you know, fuss. Um, it was love in the past. I don't know where the love uh, went, um, Capricorn. Uh, and who sacrificed for it. So let's ask for some guidance, even if we already have the answer. We do have forgiveness. Well, it's the temperance, right? It's the compromise and balance 
combining differences. Now the universe is asking you to forgive this person, to focus on, is guiding you to focus on forgiving. Why forgive them? Because the heart of the matter, that is more going on than meets the eye. Right? That is something you don't know. And they deserve your forgiveness because that is that is a reason behind this uh, all this. We do have creativity. So this is, again, your Empress energy. This is all about being creative about the current situation. Um, kind of like the universe asking you to think outside the box, right? To be nurturing about this and open. And probably your masculine energy is guided towards chivalry, manners, class, and bottom of the deck, boundaries. They might be actually putting boundaries, um, Capricorn, this person of yours. Chivalry and boundaries, or this is um, your guides asking you to be kind, to come from a place of gentleness and set boundaries when you need to do it. Now let's see the energies we need to put back into the flow at this time. And we do have um, releasing doubt, of course. I release the need to know all the answers, Capricorn. I release the need to know all the answers. We do have unity. You understand that the love shared with another is amplified and has a ripple effect across the universe. We have creativity and abundance. It's interesting. And we have the Empress. Somebody here needs to focus on their financial stability at this time. So we activate abundance by saying all through the day, I am a limitless being and I can manifest whatever I desire in this physical reality. Creativity and abundance, they are all yours if you believe in them. Releasing failure or a sense of, I understand that a mistake is only an opportunity to learn and we do have forgiveness again. We started with forgiveness, now we end with forgiveness. So you are now able to activate the power of love in order to release past hurts. Yeah, I know. Are they worthy of your forgiveness? This is so not important. Sorry guys, that's my phone. Um, this is so not important, right? Um, this is so not important. Because actually forgiveness is the spiritual way. Sorry, guys, that was my phone. Now let's um, let's look into the general energies. So we do have soul expansion. So your consciousness is expanding. You understand the connection between all things. I know. So soul expansion. Your consciousness is expanding. You understand the connection between all things. We do have crown chakra. Pay attention to your ideas as they are messages of true divine guidance sent in answer to your prayers. So soul expansion and crown chakra. And we do have breathe. Take several deep breaths and, ex and exhale slowly to awaken your energies and to release old patterns. So we take it slowly. We use the mind. We focus on abundance and on soul expansion. Your consciousness is expanding. That is something uh, fundamental that's happening here, right? So, um, yeah, Capricorn, this is all that I have for you guys. You know, I love you. I wish you nothing but the best. I want you to stay strong and safe and come see me next time. Love you. Take care.